DW reporter Stacey Bivens joins me now with more on the story. Stacey, what are these potential war crimes that the, uh, that the ICC is planning to investigate? Well, let's take a look back, Tommy. This all stems from a tier-near probe into possible war crimes in Afghanistan, ranging from 2003 and 2014. The court believes that there is enough evidence um, to support the idea that, US, that the U.S. military um, tortured people at secret sites operated by the CIA. We should also note that they are looking into the Taliban and Afghan forces through the same period of time. But, the, but they really believe that there is enough to pursue more investigation into the U.S.'s role into what happened in Afghanistan. So why exactly is the Trump administration then questioning uh, the, uh, the work of the ICC? Well, the short answer is the United States doesn't really like interference from other bodies, especially international bodies. This is what Trump is, this is what he's built his uh, presidency on. Um, and the latest act of this is withdraw from the WHO. Um, but they also claim that there's corruption within the ICC. And uh, Attorney General Bill Barr, with absolutely no evidence, said that Russia and other adversaries have infiltrated the International Criminal Court and are using it for its own agenda. So they say that it's, it's not trustworthy. So how is the ICC then responding to the, these accusations? Right. Well, they're saying that these are, they call the, the sanctions threats and coercion meant to interfere with the rule of law and undermine um, the court's ability to bring accountability for mass atrocities. And they're not the only ones speaking out. There's various international bodies that are talking. The European Union's foreign uh, policy chief says that he has deep concern and that the court must be respected and supported by all nations. But this is something that uh, the Trump administration says that they don't feel comfortable doing. Um, we should also note that part of the reason why the uh, the Trump administration says that it doesn't want to go along with this, is that it is capable of punishing its own military members if, in fact, they've done something wrong. Um, but Donald Trump has um, released three people who were found guilty of these atrocities, of some atrocities. So there's a little bit of doubt as to how dedicated to the court the Trump administration actually is. Okay. DW reporter Stacey Bivens, thank you.